Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. In this video, I'll show you how to add a zoom in effect for your e-commerce product pages. Now, uh, it'll look something like this. And this is something that um, I was trying to do when I was shopping on Amazon. I was like, hmm, can you do this in what? Yeah, you can. And it's very simple. So let me show you how. All right, here we go. So I'm going to create a new project starting from a very, very, very beginning. Um, let me just get a free e-commerce template like this toy store. Select, uh, just call it whatever. Create site. All right, now we're here. Now I'm going to go to the, yep, yep, save. Now I'm going to go to the products template. Okay, so we have this caterpillar here. All right, cool. So let's uh, do this. What I'm gonna do is it's this section right here that I'm gonna overlay with that zoom in effect. Okay, and let's see here. So we have the product and then there we go, product image wrapper. All right, so the, right here is if I hover over this guy, a new type of modal shows up here. So let's go ahead and set up our modal first. So let me into product. I'm going to drag in a div block right inside the product. And I'm going to set this div block to be position absolute and push it to the top left. And we'll give this a width of 50% and a height of say 500 pixels. Okay, and let's go ahead and give this a border of one pixels with the stroke. There we go, like a light gray. And also give it a background color of white. All right, notice how when I did position absolute and I pushed it to the top left, it's relative to the body. Now again, just to explain uh, position relative, when you hit absolute, it's looking for its parent um, element that has a position of relative. So right here, it's saying, hey, product, are you relative? And product says, no, I'm static. Wrapper, no, I'm static. Section, static. Page wrapper, static. So it's like, okay, body is my default one. So I'm going to go all the way here and target myself, connect myself to the body. Now, I want it to connect itself to the product. So I go to product, change the position to relative, and there we go. There we go, that's what I want. All right, so back on this div block, I'm gonna rename this to um, zoom modal. And let's push it away from the corner a bit by 10 pixels from the top, 10 pixels from the left, there we go. And we can add some drop shadow to it as well just for fun. Where's drop, oh, box shadow right here. Okay, gonna blur, nah, something like this. And there we go, cool. All right, so just adding some effect to it. All right, now inside the zoom modal, we're going to drag in uh, an image okay and this image we're going to get it from products and main image now from here if you had a more high res photo of your product that's where i would connect it to i would make a second um image field and call it like full res image because what we have to do is we have to blow this up even bigger than the original all right now when we blow it up we're going to use transform scale and blow it up two times, okay? Now, as you can see, there's a problem. This is going way beyond the boundaries of the zoom modal. So how we fix this is we click on zoom modal, go to overflow and set it to hidden. And there we go, all right? So, we're actually done setting up our elements. Now let's go into uh, interactions. I'm going to click on this image right here, our product image. 
go to interactions, element trigger, and mouse move over element. I'm going to play a mouse animation and add a new one and call this zoom in. Okay. Now when we zoom in, we don't want to affect this. We want to affect this. All right. So right here, uh, let's, let me give that, did I give that a, oh yeah, I did give it a, um, uh, a name, but let me just rename it real quick. Right now it's named just image. Let's just call it full size image. Okay. Let me go uh, image. Let me go back to this with the interaction. All right. Okay. So we're back here. We've renamed this to full size image. Now let's click on full size image in the navigator. I'm going to add zero at the zero percent. I'm going to set the scale to two and at 100%, I'm going to set it to two. Okay. We, so we have to set it inside of interactions because interactions resets all CSS transforms. Okay. So if we do a transform inside of the styles panel and we use interactions, interactions will reset it. So right here we have to set the scale to two now at 0%. So what I mean is when I'm at the very left of this graphic of this, um, of this image, I want the, uh, full size image to move to the right. Okay. So at 0% move and I want it to go like that. So we're going to use percentages, let's say 100%. Okay. And then I'm going to press plus here, set the transform to move. And this one's going to go the opposite, negative 100%. Okay. And now if I preview, we're already almost there. Okay. Now let's do the vertical press plus move and set this to uh, negative 100%. And then this right here at hundred percent will go to positive 100% and preview. And there we go. All right. So if I preview this, that's, that's nice. Okay. That's cool. That's exactly what we want. However, this is covering the product information. So this means we have to add a second interaction to that, to that same full width product, uh, product image. So let's leave that mouse move over element interaction by clicking X X. Now we're going to press plus mouse hover. So on mouse hover of this element, we're going to start an animation, press plus, and we'll call this show zoom modal. And we're going to go here to zoom modal right here, press plus, and we'll set the hide show to the initial state of none. Okay. So when the page first loads, don't show the zoom modal, but when I hover over it, so I'm going to press plus hide show when I hover over it, set it to block. All right. Close out of that. We're done. And now for the hover out, start animation, create a new timed animation and call it hide zoom modal. Click on zoom modal plus sign hide and show hide and we're done. So what we're doing is when we hover over this, show the zoom modal. When we hover out, hide the zoom modal. And there we go. Not too hard. All right. Now this, uh, interaction you would only use for desktop, obviously. All right. So, uh, this won't work on mobile or a tablet even because there is no hover, right? Only, so this only works on desktop. 
Um, other than that, let me know what you think about this tutorial, or if you have a uh, future, uh, or if you have a suggestion for a future tutorial, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, please click on the subscribe, like, and notification bell. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at the Pixel Geek. That's it for this quick tip. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.